Today I'm going to be installing Barricade's Extreme HD rear bumper with included spotlights on our 2014 Ram with the 5.7 liter. The Barricade Extreme bumper is perfect if you're looking to change up the rear look of your truck to something that's going to be a little bit more aggressive and totally different from a stock bumper. This is one of the most affordable and easy to install armor bumpers available for your Ram. It also has the ability to keep your parking sensors as well as your trailer hitch still compatible. Now I'll be giving this one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter and expect it to take about two to three hours to get done. Just south of 700 bucks is a great price for an armor bumper. Barricade even offers a front bumper of the same style to match. You can end up spending over double this price for other armor bumpers. To protect the rear of your truck, Barricade designed this out of three millimeter thick steel cut plates. Those steel plates are then protected by this nice matte black finish that I think looks great once installed. And then also included, we have the two three inch cube floodlights that you can control from your cabin. Our first step is to support the stock bumper with some jack stands, and then we're gonna disconnect any of the electrical harnesses either for our lights or sensors underneath the bumper. For our license plate lights, we're just gonna twist them and then pull them out of the way. Do the same thing for the other side. Twist and pull. Our truck is not equipped with any parking sensors, so we're not gonna be removing any of those. And then we just have to remove this for our tow hitch. And then for this, you're just gonna push in and then pull out. With the stock bumper being supported, we're gonna remove your license plate, and then we're gonna remove the 15 millimeter bolts hidden underneath. So just take your license plate off. It's gonna reveal the two hex nuts. So we're gonna use our 15 millimeter remove. With those two bolts removed, we're gonna move the four remaining bolts holding the bumper to our truck. They're located on this side and this side, and we're gonna be using a 15 millimeter socket to remove. With the six bolts removed, we can now take our stock bumper off of our truck. Just want to pick it up and then lift it out of the way. Before we put our barricade bumper on our ram, we just have to do a few steps on the table. I'm going to remove the backing plates so that I can install our lights. I'm going to put in the rubber plugs for our sensors here. I also need to install our license plate light as well as our trailer hitch. To remove these backing plates, we're gonna use these two screws and we need a five and 30 seconds Allen key. With our backing plates gone, we can now put through our light and then we're gonna mount it up in this location here. You can pick any of these three spots, we're gonna do right in the middle and we're gonna use the included bolt, nut and washer. And now use two 13 millimeter wrenches, so just so you can snug this. After it's tight, you can adjust it however you want it to sit and complete the same steps for the other light. Now, we're gonna use the included license plate light and thread it through the bumper. You wanna put it through with the light facing down. And then it's just gonna snap into place. And now you're gonna take your trailer hitch you removed from your old bumper and place it through, and it'll snap into place. And now we're gonna install the two included plugs so that we can install our license plate. I'm just gonna place it in, push in, push in. And now, from the back side of the bumper, you're gonna install the rubber grommets this is because we don't have parking sensors currently on our truck. If you do have parking sensors, these are the holes you would use. And then just push in. Push in.
And then for our last piece, we just place this right in our hole and push down. And it snaps into place. And now take your new barricade bumper and place it onto your jack stands. Lift your bumper up onto the bracket. Take your included bolt, nut, and washer. And do the same steps for the other side. Now we can tighten up the four bolts using our 18 millimeter socket. And now with the bumper back on, we can reconnect some of your electrical connections. This is our trailer hitch we'll put back on. You can also reconnect your parking sensors if you have them, as well as your license plate light. So included with our lights is a plug and play wire harness. All you have to do is take the plug for the lights, plug it into the harness, So now we're gonna take the rest of the wire harness and we're gonna run it across to the front of the engine bay so we can hook it up to our battery. You're gonna to wanna to use the zip ties that are included just to tighten it up out of the way. Now that we've ran the wire harness from the back of the truck to the front, we're gonna connect the negative and the positive terminal to our battery. 10 millimeter on the positive side and a 13 millimeter on the negative terminal side. We're gonna replace our negative first. And then our positive. and then just snug it back up. And 10 for our positive terminal. With your hood closed, that's gonna wrap up my review and install of Barricade's Extreme HD rear bumper with the floodlight combo. You can check this out and more at americantrucks.com.